If you are new to Unreal Engine, you might not know that every month, Epic Games gives away 5 free high quality asset packs. These are Unreal Engine Marketplace assets that are normally on sale on the Marketplace, but instead Epic gives them away for free. All you have to do is open the Epic Games Launcher, head over to the Marketplace and add these all to your cart. Click the checkout button and you own them forever. If you do this every single month, you can grow a library of over hundreds of free assets that you can use to create games, films, and much more using the Unreal Engine. This month we have our 5 usual free asset packs. We're going to start off by looking at the very first asset pack that we get here, which is this clothing store map. Uh, basically, it kind of looks like a shopping mall. So you have your different clothing stores in here. And each one of these stores has a wide variety of different 3D assets. You have things like shoes, dresses, suits, bags, all sorts of different 3D assets, even hats. And it kind of looks like an in-game store that you'd see in... A game like maybe GTA and for some of these different t-shirts you could probably add your own design to them but yeah here's the entire map it looks really nice and these are all the assets that come included you can see that it comes with an assortment of modular pieces things like walls ceilings windows then you can see all the clothing models uh, mannequins furniture as well as some of the different uh, combinations on these shelves so if you guys want to create your own clothing store in the metaverse, check out this free asset pack and make sure you claim it before the end of this month. The next thing that we have here is called the Lost Office, which is an asset pack that consists of three different office scenes. Uh, each of these are pretty well high detailed and they are very high geometry meshes. Mainly they're used for architectural visualization, but of course you can use these for you know films and games. And you have all sorts of different office props. You have your computer monitors, desks. This is the second little scene here, this little kitchen area. And, and whenever I open up these interior levels in Unreal Engine 5, I always have trouble with the lighting for some reason. It just always seems to me that the interior lighting is always super dark. And I always usually have to play around with the lighting settings for a couple minutes. But if you guys have any suggestions on how to improve the lighting, uh, just leave them down in the comments down below. Now we have our last map over here. And the detail on these assets are not bad. I mean, even this couch looks pretty high detailed. Kind of almost looks like a photo scan. But yeah, that is the lost office. Next up is this physical interaction system. So how this works is you can interact with all these different items. I can open this chest, for example. And what it does is when you click on it, you use your mouse to actually move this cursor around on the screen so I can open up this chest and then in here I can pick up this cube and it kind of reminds me of the Half-Life uh, 2 interaction with you know physics objects and stuff like that where you can pick up various items in the level now one thing though that is kind of hard to describe is it locks your character's movement so you can only move the mouse when you're holding down the left mouse button so you can't move your character around when you're interacting with objects, which is kind of weird to me, but we also have this safe over here. So the code to this is 42. So let's go ahead and turn these little knobs. And then we have to turn the safe handle here and kind of swing it open. And we have access to our valuable items in here. So all of these different interactable objects are made through Blueprint. So you can check out all the Blueprint classes and how all of these little interactable objects are implemented. We have this cool little car game and then this little steering wheel lets you steer the car around and basically you're trying to get these little points. And that's pretty much it inside of this demo level. Next up we have this animated rain water drop material. From what I understand all you do is you can take any sort of asset that you have and modify the material, add a couple nodes in there, and get sort of this raindrop effect on all of your different 3D objects. You can see the raindrops hitting the floor right here, as well as the raindrops dripping down on the sides of these different objects. It does come with these two different demo maps, so we have sort of this patio scene, and you can look at the raindrops on the glass here. Looks pretty nice. And that's pretty much it for this pack, just a Nice high quality water droplet material add-on.
Next up, we have this universal camera plugin. So this is the demo. You can download this on their website. Basically, this plugin adds some simple top down camera movement. And as you can see here, we have things like camera lag. So we have sort of this smooth movement. Of course, you can add all this sort of stuff in if you were to just use the basic tools inside of Unreal Engine. As you can see, if you use this plugin, you have things like these camera bounds. So you can't move your camera through some of these different collisions. You have stuff like auto positioning to adapt to the landscape or shape of your map edge scrolling so for example if i were to move my cursor to the edge our camera moves in whichever direction so this would be really good for if you're making some sort of top down game precise mouse drag this is sort of like using your mouse to pan around the level zoom in add cursor and essentially this plugin comes with all these different built-in camera functionality if you're interested in checking out this full demo it's only about 200 megabytes so and yeah you just have all sorts of different camera interaction you can even do things like save and load the camera's position last but not least we have this tropical island uh, low poly environment that is actually permanently free so to get it all you have to do is go to the free and sort by permanently free and there is this free asset pack this will be permanently free on the marketplace you don't have to claim it before the end of the month but as you can see it comes with an assortment of low poly pirate themed assets so we have this really nice pirate ship you can see all the sails have some cloth physics on them we have this pretty decent sized map that has a pathway system you go all the way into the very back here we have sort of this lake and waterfall up here we have this lighthouse and over in the center here we have this massive volcano and the entire map just looks massive but really the playable area is about this size right here but I definitely love the low poly pirate ship model it comes with all these cannons as well as the interior maybe we'll make some sort of mobile pirate game or something like that Anyways, that is it for the free assets. If you guys enjoyed the content that I make here, check out my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer first person Steam survival game course. I just released the course in early access a couple of days ago, and it features things like an inventory system, crafting system, harvesting resources, building and raiding other players. It's completely multiplayer. And if you purchase right now, you get a special discount early access price. I'm adding multiple new lectures every single week. All the project files are included. And if you're a complete beginner to making games inside of Unreal Engine, I designed the course for people who are either beginners or have no prior game development experience. So if you want to check out the course, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can get that early access pricing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.